Let's create a space shooter in, in Flash CS6 Action Script 3. If you go to hunkim.com slash asgamer, you can visit this space shooter tutorial directly. It's a web-based tutorial that's very good, and I like it because it breaks it down into different sections as well as you can download the source. If I scroll to the bottom of this tutorial, you should be able to find this. Here is the completed source, ASGamer1 basics one zip archive you can download it and extract it I'm just gonna highlight some key points about the tutorial once you extract the uh, the zip file you get AS gamer basics one folder and notice how we have a nice uh, folder here called com and you have your flash file here so the folder is com AS gamer basics one is the folder that contains the two AS files. The AS files are text files and this is where your code is. Generally if you have a domain name asgamer.com that's the way you would actually uh, work with your projects just to have a unique name. Basics1 is the name of your game asgamer, asgamer and then com so it's like reverse order com, asgamer, basics1 that's how you would organize your actual uh, class files which are the AS files and we have engine and ship AS. All right, let's go back. We're going to open up this uh, Basics 1 file and study it together. So what we have here is two layers. We have a background layer. It's just a blue space background. Interesting. And we have nothing on layer 2. Wow. When I press Control Enter, we have a nice beautiful spaceship. Where did that come from? I press the arrow keys. Nothing happens yet. That's for another tutorial. Let's close this. What's going on? Let's go to properties. Within properties, we see that there is this uh, field called class. This is our document class. If you hover over there, document class. If you Google document class tutorial, Action Script 3, you should be able to figure out that this engine class file is where your program begins. How in the world did the spaceship appear there? There is some code in here. Now wait a minute, what are all these dots? This is this is basically the directory folder structure. So if, if I open up the actual folders again, just to remind you that there is a com, asgamer, basics1, engine, and ship file. And so when you go to properties, this is the first folder, second folder, third folder, and finally we have this actual AS file, the engine class. So let's open it to figure out what's happening. So we trust that this code is going to be run, some code inside the engine class, because this, that's the special nature of the document class. That's where your program begins. So I'm going to press Control o or File Open. And I'm going to actually go to the ASGamer com, uh, AS, um, com ASGamer Basics 1 folder. And you can even open up multiple files by holding down the Shift or Control buttons. Click on Open to open both of these and I already opened them so they're here. Here's the ship file and here's the engine file. Now when you go to your flash file, just a reminder, we promise to start at the engine file. So let's go to the engine file. The engine file is the uh, class. The way that uh, coding works in flash is everything is organized into classes and each class should be in its own different file. And so uh, we just copy this pattern, package uh, com asgamer basics1. This uh, relates to, to our folder structure. Just copy that pattern. The package has a beginning curly brace as well as a corresponding end curly brace. So just copy the pattern for now. We have our import statements. So we'll just this just basically means that we want to be able to use the power of the movie clip and stage. There's various functions and variables which we'll talk about later for now. Just import it, it gives us power. And here's the main code. Public class engine. So this engine class, which is uh, extends movie clip and we'll talk about uh, all this object-oriented stuff later. Let's just try to understand the the main the main highlights right now. The engine code this engine class uh, has this thing called a constructor. The constructor has the same name as the as the class. 
and this is called engine. So we have a function called engine. This is where your code begins in the constructor, wherever the uh, you, you see the same name as a class name. That's where uh, your constructor is. So what's going on in this constructor? We have a variable called our ship, and this is an arbitrary variable. You can call it whatever you wish, and it's of type ship. Okay equals a new ship. All right. So what's happening is whenever you see in many programming languages the word new, it means that you're actually creating a real ship. So the computer is, is using some memory to actually uh, create a real ship so that you can use all its functions and, and variables. So we actually create a new ship. Now what is a ship? We haven't even defined what it is. So the new, when you whenever you use the word new, it actually calls the constructor of the ship class. So there's another class there called ship, which, which we opened here. Okay, so we have this variable called our ship. We somehow create a ship, uh, and uh, uh, what are we doing with the ship? Stage dot add child is a function that actually draws the. Uh, the movie clip and the our ship uh, instance uh, onto the uh, stage. So this actually draws your ship onto the stage. Our ship dot x equals stage dot stage width divided by two. So basically, stage dot stage width is in blue. It means that it's a special variable that's built into Flash. So it automatically calculates how wide your your screen is, your stages. Our ship dot y equals stage dot stage height divided by two. So basically, your ship is centered in the middle, halfway across the width and halfway uh, through the height. Okay, so what's going on here with ship? Let's take a look at that. Let's go to the ship class. We copy the same pattern with the package, and what we have here is you have a ship. And right now the constructor does nothing, so no code is run whatsoever when the ship is created. Okay, so here just uh, we'll we'll practice this idea more, but the word new actually creates the object. You're actually creating a real physical object as opposed to classes. Uh, classes are simply definitions; they're like templates. So this is this is just like we're defining, we're 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 the architect of what it's going to be. Whereas when you use the word new, you're actually creating a ship. We actually created a ship, therefore we could actually set its x and y positions. Okay, so let's uh, figure out what's going on here. Let's go back to the actual uh, flash file, and I'm going to go to the uh, uh, library. And in the library, notice how we actually have that ship movie clip. Now uh, we actually uh, realize this is a movie clip, so you can technically drag ships onto your stage, but then we would have the problem of having to name things with instance names, but we have no instance names. Uh, pr previous video I talked about how it would not be feasible to always have to name things all the time, especially when you have many many different objects, so therefore we're practicing using code, code more. So what we do here, if I go to the library, if you right click the ship movie clip, which we drew, by the way, you can draw a movie clip by uh, drawing it and converting it to a movie clip symbol, and of course if I want to edit this actual spaceship, I can double click into this uh, movie clip and start editing it and drawing it, but I don't want to, I don't want to do that right now, I'm going to fly back to my scene one. I just want to understand this uh, this code here. So I'm going to go to library, I'm going to right click ship, go to properties, and notice how uh, the, the, uh, this actual, this movie clip is connected to the code on my ship class. So how do you connect a movie clip to your actual class? You connect it by right clicking, go to, going to the properties, and this telling uh, telling Flash that hey, the class that's associated with this movie clip is is here. Com AS Gamer Basics One Ship. So uh, the reason why we have to add all these dots before is because uh, the ship class is buried deep in a couple of folders. So that's how you connect it. All right. So we mulled over everything in this project. Let's move on to part two.
So just go to hunkim.com slash ASGamer and then click on the second tutorial and uh, hope you enjoy these videos.